I just wanted to do this quick video as I'm not sure whether my video editing skills adequately conveyed the message I was trying to put across in my last upload. The video started with a clip that I dug out from earlier in the year from a press conference on the 5th of January where Patrick Valance stated, and I quote, all vaccination will ultimately put some pressure on viruses to mutate. It was a rare moment of scientific truth from Valance. It was in response to a question rather than a pre-prepared speech so I wonder whether he was caught off guard. Valance also stated, the more you vaccinate, the more you put evolutionary pressure on the virus. Evolutionary pressure is a law of nature, whereby the more resistant pathogens survive and thrive. It is an aspect of Darwinian natural selection and sometimes referred to as selection pressure. Antibiotics are a good example of this phenomenon. Concerns of antibiotic resistant bacteria are well understood and for this reason prescribers are careful not to overuse antibiotics. Antibiotics place a selection pressure on bacteria and if the bacterial infection is not eradicated completely it leaves remaining bacteria that are able to survive termed superbugs on the NHS website and this resistant strain becomes more dominant. This is true for viruses and vaccines too and Merrick's disease is a well-known example of this. Merrick's disease is a highly contagious virus in chickens. In the 1970s, a vaccination campaign commenced in chickens, but over time, this resulted in the spread of more virulent strains. Why? If a vaccine is imperfect, i.e. one that reduces symptoms, but does not stop infection or transmission, this is known as being leaky. A leaky vaccine is a technical term. Leaky vaccines do not produce immunity, those vaccinated with a leaky vaccine that then go on to get infected, they create an environment for viruses to evolve, enabling virus variants that are resistant to vaccination to thrive. In the case of Merrick's disease, the vaccinated chicken still got infected and because the vaccine was leaky, it allowed highly virulent strains that would normally reach an evolutionary dead end instead to propagate and spread. This article in the National Geographic explains it well it states, the Merix vaccine is imperfect or leaky. That is, it protects chickens from developing disease, but it doesn't stop them from becoming infected or from spreading the virus. Inadvertently, this made it easier for the most virulent strains to survive. Important research on this was published in 2015 in a medical paper titled, Imperfect Vaccination Can Enhance the Transmission of Highly Virulent Pathogens. I'd recommend reading all of it, but I'll just pull out this one quote. But when vaccines leak, allowing at least some pathogen transmission, they could create the ecological conditions that would allow hot strains to emerge and persist. So coming back to SARS-CoV-2 and COVID, studies have shown that the COVID vaccine does not produce sterilizing immunity and does not prevent transmission. It is therefore leaky. For an infectious respiratory pathogen, such as SARS-CoV-2, a leaky vaccine will drive the propagation of variants that evade the vaccine. This is known as vaccine escape. This would have been well known to evolutionary biologists. It was predictable, and by his own acknowledgement, it was also well known to Patrick Valance. 